Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be looking at the ABS module. Now, it's similar for the 0304 Cobra, the Mach 1, and the GT, but they are different parts. So you do have to make sure you get the one that uh, is correct for the vehicle. And the, as for the Cobra ones, the earlier Cobras, like the 96 to 98, they're not going to be the same as the newer 99 to 04, so you do have to make sure you get the right one. Uh, so uh, as you can see here on the front of this, you can see where it says Cobra on it, and so that will let you know which one it is. It will say GT uh, on the other ones. And so just to show you as well where it's located on the car, if you come in towards the front near the radiator, uh, you can kind of see it down in here. My expansion tank's in the way, but if you come from the side, you can see it pretty well down in here. So on the Terminator Mach 1 GT, it's all in the same place. And so here you can see it down in there. And it is a Bosch part, by the way. It says Bosch on it, and you'll see those stickers too. It is a little easier to see on the Mach 1s and the GT without the supercharger expansion tank in the way. And so even coming in from the front here, if you look down, you'll see it. And you can find it by following the brake lines that go into it. And we're going to go ahead and disassemble this and leave those brake lines in there. And I'll show you how that would be done. Of course, this is with the... Uh, it out of the car but as you can see this is where those brake lines would thread in so when you purchase one of these it might come as the whole pump with the block and everything like this uh, and if you need just the module that's what we're going to take off then we don't have to bleed the brakes or do anything uh, with brake fluid and so uh, what we're going to do is uh, first off to get it out of the car you're going to need a 13 millimeter socket or wrench and so you'll just go after the two nuts that are on each side and then you're going to have to undo the main harness here, the connector at the front. After that, it will actually slide right out. And so this is what it looks like. And on the sides, you see these studs, and they actually come out, and they just have rubber grommets on it just so that it, uh, it helps it with the vibration. So if those come out, don't worry about it. We'll just put them back in. Then there's also one here on the bottom. And uh, as you can see, it lines up onto the bracket there. And sometimes it gets stuck on the bracket too. So just watch out for that one. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and remove this uh, front electrical connector. And so we're going to take a screwdriver, and we're going to come in at the very front here. You'll notice those little prongs. So we're just going to gently lift up on those, and then we can pull this plug right off. So just another view. We're just lifting up on that little tab and then pulling the plug out. Next, we're going to need a Torx bit. Okay, so this is actually going to be a T20 is the size. And so you want to make sure you're using a Torx and not stripping it out with a And then I even point. used another extension because you'll see on the module, it's kind of deep to get down into these screws on the side. So I then took a quarter inch drive ratchet and the socket size as well is quarter inch drive uh, in order to get onto the back of this one. But uh, whatever you have uh, that you'll need, this is how I got mine to work. So anyway, went ahead and came in, and there's six screws that we're going to take out. So we're going to just go ahead, and we're going to take them out evenly, and we're going to put them back in evenly too, just to be on the safe side. So with all those removed, now we just pull straight up on this module. And so as you can see, uh, it's pretty delicate in here. It has these springs that are moving around, and so this is why you'll probably most likely be sent this uh, as uh, the whole kit. So just be very careful with everything that's in here. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and if this were our new one, for example, we'll set it right back down on top. And that's how we would uh, replace this. So we're going to go ahead and put our screws back in and uh, go ahead and tighten it all down. Okay, we're going to take our bushings here from the side if they had come out and make sure we put them in now. And we're going to grab our bottom bushing in case it was stuck on the bottom there. And either way, as long as it lines up, it'd probably be fine. But we're going to go ahead and put it in the bottom first and reconnect our electrical connector here. And now we're going to go ahead and bring this back into the bracket. And so we're going to line this up at the bottom first and make sure that that post goes right into that grommet. And then on the sides, we want to make sure that those... Uh, studs just kind of pass right through the bracket here. Next, we're going to bring in our 13 millimeter nuts and replace them. 
And uh, then next, we're going to go ahead and plug in our electrical connector again. And so uh, there are companies that you can send yours out to for repair, or you can chance buying these uh, used. But uh, if you have an intermittent ABS light that comes on, it can be the case, but it can also be from dirty ABS wheel speed sensors, uh, or uh, if those sensors where their wires are, if they get cut as they rub in the fenders or uh, just corrode over time. So anyway, you want to diagnose it before you commit to buying a new one and changing it out. But this is how you change it out. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please check the video description where I have a playlist with a lot of videos that are similar to this. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys.